Hello beautiful people, this is Marcus Stem with another episode of Guitar Junkie. I hope you're all hanging in there in this very strange situation that we're all in. And um, what I'd like to do today, because you've asked, is to detail my precise amp and overdrive settings. I'm gonna play an old Etta James song called I Rather Go Blind. Uh, the backing track is by a great guitar player and buddy of mine Michael Wagner, aka no Michael Wagner, and Oswin Ottel of Ten Guitars Munich, and uh, I th think it's even part of a giveaway. I'm gonna post the link for the backing track below, so feel free to play along. And after the performance, I'm just gonna go through my amp and overdrive settings. Enjoy. So, the amplifier is set fairly low. It's one of my favorite amplifiers at the moment. It's a brand new 50 watt Plexi Marshall bone stock. Nothing to it. I think I had it for about seven or eight months. Thank you, Marshall. And um, the volumes are only set about two. I bridge the channels. Middle is always around 12 o'clock and I adjust the presence and treble uh, according to the guitar. So, this is what the amplifier sounds like 
on the neck pickup with all uh, controls turned up, no overdrive. <laughs> Both pickups Bridge pickup If I turn down just a little bit, um, I get sounds like this. If I use the neck pickup, Bridge pick up by itself. So you see, there's a whole bunch of possibilities just with the amp pure. I have to say, I have a little bit reverb coming from the board. Uh, if I turn up, if I dig in, I get distortion. If I play lightly, I get a little bit of breakup. So, then, I adjust the overdrive. Uh, the settings, I always start with anything on any amplifier and an overdrive pedal with all the settings set around noon. So I usually get a pretty good idea uh, of what the machinery sounds like. So, here's my... Overdrive on. Uh, turn down the guitar with the overdrive on, which is one of my favorite sounds. So you see, it cleans up quite nicely. And it never gets muddy, even if I play something faster, you know, I'll go... There's always a certain definition and it reacts to... reacts to the volume knob. So, regardless if it's a sweet elephant or any other pedal, I always check the pedal for its color and for its dynamic range. I don't like too much compression. A little bit compression is okay, that gives you the sweetness, but some pedals just go, you know, it doesn't matter if you hit like this or like this. So I like to maintain the dynamics. That's the most important thing. I usually use always a slightly distorted amplifier. It just seems to be the best idea with an overdrive pedal. There are distortion pedals, high gain distortion pedals that do it with a clean amplifier and they usually don't sound that great to me. The, uh, the Sweet Elephant however works on a clean channel um, 
with the high gain uh, with the higher gain settings. Let me try that. So this is the clean channel of the Marshall. <laughs> the overdrive does. Turn down the volume. So this was Marcus Dell with another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on YouTube, subscribe, buy a record, for God's sakes, records sound better. Anyway, stay healthy, peace.